So in this channel, we've discussed a lot of different e-bike conversion kits, including the bimodal and the Scarper. With both of these companies coming with really good ideas on converting regular bikes to e-bikes, but both suffer from the same problem, and that's a hefty price tag. But there's a new company who's entering this space called LiveAll, and they have an e-bike conversion kit called the Pika Boost. And unlike other e-bike conversion kits I've seen on the market, this one installs in seconds, and the biggest thing, it's actually really affordable. So in this video, we're gonna go over what we know about this conversion kit so far, and what makes it different than its competitors. So now, let's find out more about the LiveAll Pika Boost e-bike conversion kit. So LiveAll is a small company that's based out of China and it was established in 2014 as a company that focuses mostly on bicycle helmets with features such as speakers that you can listen to music and make phone calls. They also make helmets that have integrated lights that can use as brake lights and turn signals. Belivo has moved outside the normal market and they developed the Pika Boost, which is the company's first e-bike conversion kit. The Pika Boost is different from any other e-bike conversion kits and a lot of the competition requires you to swap out an entire wheel, strapping a giant battery onto your frame, usually requires extensive wiring, and it might not be compatible with all bikes. But the Pika Boost only requires you attach the unit to your seat post without any tools needed, adjust the roller motor so it's touching the tire, and that's it. The Pika Boost will come with a 234 watt battery capacity that has an estimated range of about 30 kilometers, about 18 miles, and the whole unit only weighs in about three kilograms. One really cool feature that it has is a regenerative system almost like a hybrid electric car that feeds energy back into the system so you can get to replenish some of the battery when going downhill or not pedaling. And the live will come with three different modes. The first one is hold, which always maintains your speed even if you stop pedaling. Next is the roll mode, and that one helps most with uphill assistance. And last is the sport mode, which actually adds resistance when pedaling to increase the level of pedaling effort and also charges the battery using the regenerative system. The unit also has other technologies including terrain change detection, a smart slip detection, and a fault detection that cuts off the power to the motor if the unit senses the bike has leaned over more than 45 degrees. The Pika Boost also has a built-in rear light that has two modes, the always on mode and the auto sensing mode that turns on the brake light when it senses deceleration. It's also rated at an IP66 waterproof for both the motor and the battery. And it's gonna have a USB port so you can charge up your electronic devices. The unit can also be locked onto the seat post using wireless Bluetooth, which is a good idea in theory. But if you have a regular seat post, anyone can steal it just by removing the whole seat and the seat post with the unit attached in a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, I can't find any information regarding the power output of the unit, but it is a very small motor, so I can't imagine it's very powerful. But the good part is, it's compatible with all bicycles regardless of tire type. The total purchase price of the Pika Boost is $599 through Kickstarter. But at the time of this recording, if you sign up, you get the unit for the price of $299. I couldn't find a release date for the Pika Boost. But I'm sure once the Kickstarter page is live, there'll be more information, and I'll be sure to put that data in the video description. What I like about this conversion kit is that LiveAll is making a conversion kit that thinks outside the box. It's easy to install, it's loaded with features, and most importantly, it's affordable so that almost anyone interested in converting their bike to electric can afford. But even though I think it's a really good idea, there's a couple of things that have me feeling a little skeptical. First is the roller design of the unit and how it puts power down to the tire. It seems like there would be potential slippage in the tire in wet conditions. And if using on a mountain bike tire, it doesn't seem there's as much contact area due to the knob design and that could cause issues as well. Second is this unit seems like it's too good to be true. I think there's a lot of cool technology and features in the Pika Boost, especially for the money compared to other options on the market. But that's the part that has me scratching my head. It costs a lot of money for research and development to create a unit like this, especially one that has many features as the Pika Boost. So the fact that they can develop this unit for the amount of money is eye-opening. All I can think of is the saying, if something seems too good to be true, then it is. With all that being said, I hope that Vivol proves that my skepticism is completely wrong. I would love to be wrong, because that means there's now an affordable, user-friendly e-bike conversion kit for the masses. So are you excited about the LiveAll Pika Boost? Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm going to keep my eye out on this product, and hopefully in the future I can test one out to see how it works in the real world. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a great one. 
So now, let's find out what makes the live all peek a peek a peek a boost.